All right, we got UCL hero Carlos Tevez. Let's take a look at him and let's try him out. We are looking at a card that has five star skill moves with the four star weak foot, high, high work rates, and he is 5'7. His acceleration type at this current moment is controlled 88 pace, 91 shooting, 83 passing, 89 dribbling, 91 physical. When we do dive into his in game stats, you can automatically realize about how well rounded this card actually is. Great pace stats, great shooting stats, good passing stats, great dribbling stats, and amazing physical stats. For a player that is 5'7", have 89 strength and 93 aggression, just allows him to have a massive advantage in game. Along with that, he does have good dribbling stats as well, in 85 agility, 86 balance, and 90 dribbling. So he's short, his left stick dribbling is going to be sticky, and he's strong. Those factors alone, you already know how good this card is going to be in game, and that alone is why I expect this card to be an absolute beast in game. The recommended chemistry style for this card is definitely an engine, just so you can max out his agility, balance, and dribbling as much as possible along with that he does get a much needed pace boost as well You're probably thinking why can't i just put a hunter on this card you definitely can but in my opinion for a card like this if you can max out his dribbling as much as possible with the additional pace boost it's gonna benefit this card a lot more than just adding a hunter and an area of need is definitely that dribbling just so you can make him feel the best he possibly can on the ball but if you are the type of person that wants the plus eight on both his acceleration and sprint speed and just want to max out his shooting you can definitely do that but in my opinion, I prefer putting on an engine. When we do dive into his playstyle, his playstyle plus is that technical plus, which again is going to be very, very good for this card because he's just going to be able to zero past anybody. We all know how overpowered the controlled dribbling is in this game. And when you combine that with his strength, his agility, his balance, and his dribbling, you can already tell that this player is going to be very effective when this playstyle does kick in. He does got quick step. And in my opinion, I think quick step is very underrated in this game. It's just going to allow him to get that extra acceleration boost and just just makes it a lot easier for him to get by defenders he does got relentless he's just not gonna get tired in game guys and he does got the power shot so if you are in very good positions to perform a power shot he's gonna be very very effective at them the thing in my opinion that lets this card down is that he doesn't have finesse shot or even travella i think this is gonna take away his versatility when it does come to scoring you're really gonna have to focus on his dribbling to score goals the technical plus definitely makes up for it but i still think that this card needs at least a travella or a finesse shot so he can be much more of a threat outside the box but with a card like george best it really wasn't that much of a problem because he didn't have finesse shot or travella and with tevez i'm honestly hoping that it's going to be the exact same scenario with that being said though we will be trying them out in a 4-3-2-1 i have his supporting runs and his attacking runs both on bounds just so i can test out his attacking ai but with that being said though guys let's hop into the games into tevez Ball roll in your post goal last, so well done. Nice finish. All right, let's see his attacking AI here. Just a little bit out wide. I'm actually surprised about that. Let's see how long it takes him to get back centrally. Now, just still drifting out wide. I think it's because Martinez is holding the central position right now. So that's honestly smart of him to stay out wide. Tevez. Tevez. Love this. Near post. Love that. Well done. Inside. Well done. Ball roll. Skips him. Skips him. Go last, so well done. Tevez. Can't get it. He can't get it. <laughs> Let's go. Tevez, bang, bang. Love that. Well done. Hey, not totally centrally, but he's in a good spot. Pick it up with him. Far post goal last, so well done. Gets by Van Dyke. Drops the keeper. Gets by him. Near post goal last, so. Tevez. Yes, Carlitos. Carlitos. Into Tevez. Tevez. Near post. Love that. Has Van Dyke on his back. Let's get into him. Step over. Bang. Love that. Back in the Tevez. Love that. Go. They can't catch you. Our post goal lasso. Tevez is out wide. Let's see what he does here. Dalvin's in that position. That's why he's still hanging out wide. Which is really good. Occupying another space on the pitch. That's very helpful. Now with the throw and reset. He's back centrally. Which is good. Tevez. 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 Throw dribbling. OP with that technical. Nice Tevez. Gets by him. Gets by him. Gets by him. Love that. Wow. Love that. The fact that he kept that in is hilarious. Kind of just toying with him at this point. We're honestly just toying with him at this point. Everybody on his team was falling on that. Tevez. Love that. Oh my god. That was so clean. Tevez. Nice. Gets by on both. Your post. Love that. Tevez. 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 
Tevez got last, so well done. Go Tevez. Boom. Go. Nice. All right, guys. I'm going to be honest here, okay? Do I think this Carlos Tevez card is good? I honestly do think that this card is fantastic. His dribbling is amazing. His control dribbling is extremely overpowered. Five-star skill moves. You can do any skill move with them. Very good on the ball. Everything you look for a striker is definitely in this card. The only problem with this card is the price of his SBC and his price on the market. Both his SBC price and his market price both are around 1 million coins. And although I said how this card is fantastic, I think you guys should wait for his market price to drop down. We all know his SBC price isn't going to drop anytime soon. So if his market price does drop, then I would say definitely go out and get this card. For right now, I would hold out a little bit. I don't think this card is worth a million coins. That is mainly because since he doesn't have finesse shot or Travella, I think it limits this card when it does come to scoring. I think when you do use this card you have to rely heavily on its dribbling although his dribbling is very effective in this game i just think when you are outside the box and when you are having a tough time breaking down an opponent that's where i think this card struggles yeah he does have the power shot i'm gonna be honest guys for me it really wasn't that effective this card would be much better off if he had at least finesse shot or travel like how i mentioned before and since this card isn't that versatile when it does come to finishing that's why i don't think he's worth the price tag as of right now yeah when you do get inside the box when you do create space with them with his amazing dribbling his shots will go in his finishing is fantastic inside the box but when you are struggling against a block if you are struggling to create chances inside the box that's where usually finesse shot and trevellas outside the box can come and help you but unfortunately since this card doesn't have either of the play styles you might struggle a little bit while using this card so is this card fantastic yes do i think this card is meta not fully when its price tag lowers definitely go and get this card don't waste your fodder on his spc just wait for his market price to drop. And once he's at a reasonable price, I guarantee you, you guys will have a whole lot of fun using this card and he will help you guys out a whole bunch. But with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, that would be much appreciated. Subscribe for more EAFC content. Make sure to follow all the socials in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.